Yeah. So Richard, how'd you get into uh, working with Dallas, if you don't mind me asking? Well, um, it's it's a cool story. I remember going to one of Sidekick's uh, summer camps as a kid. I, of course, I'm Italian, so we grew up red wine, soccer, pasta, church. Not so, not in that many, but whatever. Um, so my dad was an outdoor referee for years and years and years. My oldest son does it. Uh, unfortunately, I've gained a little bit too much weight, and the knees are bad for me to do it. But um, I, I'll never forget chasing tattoo down at that as a kid. And at the end of a hot day, everybody's sweaty and tired. And the man took the time to sign my sweaty, nasty towel that they gave us as part of the, the entry fee, you know. And that made such an impression on me. And to still say I'm still friends with him, it, uh, well, I'm not going to divulge my current age. But, you know, a little bit over 21 years of age at this point, that's pretty cool. And, you know, so now I've got both of my sons involved in it. Um, some pictures of my daughter, who's 10. Um, she goes up there. She has her own little staff badge for both teams. I mean, you know, we, we make it a family thing. And I think that's one of the, the coolest things about it. Nice. Awesome. Hey, it's our mystery guest. There we go. Who could Is it he be? a mystery? Can you hear, you're, on, you're no longer a mystery guest, Cameron. No, it's no. good. As long as you guys can hear me. And yeah, the light. Hey. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the shirt. Good. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I, I was just coaching here, so I apologize. I had a scrimmage run a little bit late, so I apologize for being a bit late. No, no problem. No problem at all. Thanks for uh, – it's, it's no problem. We're here for the next, like, three and a half hours, so. Oh, nice. Very good. So I like to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna so how, how's it bit. going? How, how, are you, how are you feeling? No, everything's good. Everything's great. I mean, I um, coaching-wise here in, 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 in Dallas, obviously, uh, made, a, made a club switch. Uh, switch, switch different clubs. Just found a uh, little bit better situation, I think, for for uh, my my players that I coach and, and the families and kind of the area that I'm in. So we switched clubs. That was effective July 1st, and uh, obviously a tough tough time of you know tough circumstances, tough things going on right now just in terms of the pandemic. But um, it's been a blessing, and uh, I'm I'm super happy just in terms of the you know coaching side of it. I'm a full time coach, soccer coach. That's all I do as well. So um, that's kind of, you know, the full-time focus in the off season of, of indoor. So, uh, in terms of the body, body feels really good. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm super ready to start training again and, uh, just kind of getting back into it. Last year was obviously a personal, uh, tough personal year for me. Didn't play very much injury in the beginning of the season, put me out for the rest of the season, but, um, knee feels great and uh, I'm ready to go. I can't wait. Cool. Good to hear. Yeah. We were, um, uh, we we're doing a little bit of research, and you know, obviously the goal scoring streak. What was the final tally on the goal st scoring streak for Dallas? Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. It was hard to find what the end number was, but it was all the news articles I saw were when you hit twenty one. Yeah. And uh, pretty cool picture with that that I saw. That was you know you down on your knees and looking up and everything. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. No. And that I mean that thing was. Um... You know, it was it was it was funny because it kind of carried over between two different seasons, you know, and so um, it kind of was was uh, the end of my, um, you know, I guess you would call it my second season, and then carrying into that that third season, and it was really a, um, yeah, I mean, it was re it was really kind of a, a a record that that came up, you know, kind of when we were at like 17 in, in a row, 17 games in a row, you know, they were saying, hey, you know, Tattoo's got the all-time record, and I was like. Man, I didn't even know that was a thing, you know. And so um, then, then I started obviously, you know, focusing on a little bit, saying, "Hey, well, you know, that's cool. You know, I guess like I can get to 20 games, and then, um, you know, maybe 21, and that sets a record or whatever." And uh, you know, obviously, you break any records with Tattoo's name on them. Obviously, you know that that, that doesn't happen often. He, he holds them all for Dallas, pretty much. So, um, yeah, it was a cool thing, um, and and it was a good moment for my family. Um, I think they focused on the record a little bit more than I did. Um, I was just trying to obviously help my teammate in any way possible. But, you know, sometimes when, you, when you're in good form and, and you've got some momentum and you've got some positivity going, um, you, you can get on, get on kind of hot streaks like that. So it was a wonderful, you know, wonderful time in my career. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully one day again I can repeat it. But, uh, you know, like I said, it was, it was a special moment for me and my family. For sure. This has been In the Box. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit that bell icon.
so you can follow along as we put out new clips of our live show. And if you want to catch our live show, make sure you head over to our Facebook group page. We have a Friday night live show every Friday, 8.30 Central Time, 9.30 Eastern Time. Now, we'll be there unless something happens. Everybody get up, everybody get up, everybody get down, everybody get up, everybody get up, everybody get up.